Hey, it's Michael Bacher, and today we're going to make a sampler-based instrument using Decent Sampler. There's an old wooden trash can at my parents' house that I've always loved the sound of it closing. I recorded it using contact microphones and an old pair of headphones used as a microphone. So the fruit of my labors is this instrument right here, the Strawberry Trash Can. Each playable note has 10 velocity layers, and you can use the global tuning control to pitch the sounds up and down. The instrument also features decent samplers, built-in convolution reverb, with an impulse I recorded in the same space I recorded the strawberry trash can. And you can control the amount of reverb using the knob labeled barn. I recorded the strawberry trash can using Reaper. So let's record a sample. Now we want to split these into three separate audio tracks. So to do that, we can press the letter D on our keyboard and it brings up dynamic split items. And you can see on our file, it's highlighted these areas. And then we can move this threshold for this gate and it'll determine when it chops off the audio. So this is our dynamically split section. So let's hit split down here. And now we have these distinct segments. We want to export them. So we don't want to render the master mix. We want to render selected media items. So we want to be able to automatically name these so we know exactly what they are. Reaper has this feature called wildcards. And these are like variables that get filled in automatically. So let's get the track name in there. Uh, project information, track. And we'll do wildcards, project order, timeline order. So this is an example of what the output's going to look like. And then we can just hit render three files. And we're done. Here's the code that makes our decent sampler instrument work. Now this is the meat of it. This might look like a lot, but it's not that bad. To learn how to do all this, you can check out the documentation and a link for that will be in the video description. This block is all of one note's velocity layers. An amp vel track equals zero, which means we disable velocity scaling when notes are played because we've recorded each velocity ourselves. We define our root note. So if that note is played, it won't be pitch shifted and we set the low note and the high note to the same note, only that note will trigger this sound. And then the path attribute defines what the sample is. We do this for every single sample, and then we define the low and the high point, what velocity will trigger the sample. And we copied and pasted, set these notes to one note up, and we did this for all of our different notes that we can play. And that's basically how you make a decent sampler preset.